Hello, I'm Sonia and welcome to Red Cardinal Kitchen. And today I have selected another recipe. So we'll be right back and I'll let you know what it is. Alright, so I'm back and I am making soft flavored tortillas. So let's get started. So in this bowl I have my flour, I have salt, baking powder, and I have some lard. And I'll be mixing this together. Here I have broth. It is vegetable broth and it is one cup. It also contains two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. You can use whatever vinegar you have. So here I have my lard. I have extra flour for rolling. So I'm going to put my recipe over here and we're going to start. All right. So first of all, let's go ahead and mix those ingredients with the flour, the salt, and the baking powder. Alright, what's combined? Now I'll add one tablespoon of lard. Just one tablespoon. And that'll be quite a lot. So I'm going to get that mixed in. Okay. So kind of, I like to use my whisk, but whatever tool you like to use. You have a pastry cutter or something. Forks, knives. <laughs> okay. Next, make a little well, a little round well in the middle, and I'm going to put hot broth in my well, all of it. There we go, and then I'm going to take my spoon, and I'm going to start turning my bowl and putting my flour ingredients here right into that well. And I just keep turning and turning and turning until everything is mixed. And you could do this on a board without a bowl. So just don't add all the liquid as you go. All right, so here we have it. Our flour combined with the liquid with our leavening, our salt. Okay. And we're going to scrape, scrape your spoon. And now with clean hands, I'll go in and start kneading to take up the rest of the flour. And I will be doing this for five minutes. So we'll be back. All right, I have my tortilla dough kneaded. And it's into a little bowl now, but it's not quite ready. I'm going to go ahead and keep it in the bowl, and I'm going to put a damp towel over it, and I'm going to let it rest for 45 minutes. And we'll be back after 45 minutes. All right, and the 45 minutes is up, and so I'm going to take off my damp towel. And here's our tortilla ball, and you can see how soft it is. I'm going to take some flour, and to be generous about it, and flip it over. that little ball for them. 
Now I'm going to cut it in half. And cut this in half. This half. Got four. Eight. And then we're going to do one more time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and sixteen. Okay, so now we have sixteen and little wedges, and then you're just going to roll them into a ball. And they have flour on them so they don't stick to one another. And just get them in there. After I get all the balls in there, these are going to rest another 15 minutes with a damp towel over the top. So we'll be back when that is completed. Alright, and my tortilla balls have rested an additional 15 minutes. So it is time to roll them out. I have two large, well, an extra large, a large, a medium one, and a small one. So let's do one at a time. Let's start here. So, oops, I gotta get some additional flour. And I'm gonna really puddle that flour <laughs> on my board. Now, press that little ball down. I've already got them formed. I should do one and sh show you how I did it. So what I do is I have the ball and then I just take my thumb, both my thumbs, and I bend it down towards my fingers. And you have a little thin lip. You put that heavy part into the palm of your hand and just pinch them together. Just like this, like a little dumpling. <laughs> okay, just make sure it's all in there. And then you flip it back over. And then you just take your hand and you seal it. Okay, that might have a little crack on top, but that's okay. Or you could do it on a bare board. It might slip with flour on it, but once it gets going, it has to be not, I'll do, I'll pretend this one's done. Oh, not going to work today, sorry. So, I have them all done and ready. So now, it is time to roll out a tortilla. i got to have my full board, sorry. Okay, and my skillet has, is getting warm. Now, if you want to, you can use an electric grill or whatever fry pan you have, but the iron skillet is what we're using today. Okay, so I've got my ball flattened. I put my, some kind of a rolling pin, you can use a glass, whatever you have. And I'm gonna roll it forward and then roll it back. Roll it forward and roll it back. And I'll do this over and over until I get how long I want my tortilla to be because the length here is going to let you know what size they're going to be when they're round. And I'll show you how to get into a round shape. This is a football shape right now. Okay, so all you do, get some flour ready, flip it over, and this time, the, the football shape is this way. Now, let's do the same thing. Just work, work it forward and backwards. And if you find it's getting a little, you know, just kind of find where it looks like a circle 
can. Sometimes they come out perfect circles, sometimes they don't. So there you have one. All right, welcome back. My skillet is hot, so I like to cook a tortilla. My skillet has no fat in it. It's just plain. And I'm just going to set my tortilla down to the back and drop it in the front. So, we're going to cook this and hopefully it's hot enough where we get our bubbles to come up quickly. To me, that's the secret. If you're cooking them too long, they get tough. So it looks like the steaming is happening. Kind of peek at the bottom. All right, now let's flip it over, and you'll see it's puffing up on the bottom. The skillet's hot enough, and you—I don't know if you can see the skillet, so I'll just kind of lift it up, and it, look, look, it blows up. There we go, and as soon as it blows up. I put it right into my bowl warmer and cover it with my towel and you can put a lid over that. Alright, so let's have a taste of one of these. And I'll choose this one. Nice and soft. Mm. Put it in the middle of our plate and I'm going to keep them covered to stay warm side. So, I think I want to roll mine up. Make a little, what is that, a tostada? <laughs> and we'll take a bite. Mm. Soft. Mm. Flavorful. These are onion flavored, but you can make them plain by just using water, hot water. You can even put hot milk if you don't, if that's what you want to use. So that you have flour, a leavening, a little bit of fat. You can actually make these without the tablespoon of lard. They'll still turn out. And some kind of liquid. So I hope you enjoyed cooking with me today, and I hope you enjoy my recipe. Until the next time, this is Sonia from Red Cardinal Kitchen. Bye now, and God bless.